Senator Ted Kennedy lost his own battle with brain cancer last night. The American Cancer Society estimates that over 22,000 malignant tumors of the brain or spinal cord will be diagnosed in the United States this year alone. Our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton is in Atlanta and has more on that. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Harry. This is, in fact, a, a very aggressive brain tumor. Uh, it's called a malignant glioma. And typically, the prognosis, as most of us have heard by now, is very poor. Only about 50% of patients survive one year after diagnosis. And by five years, the survival obviously is even less. Without treatment, the average survival is really only three months. And as we know, Senator Kennedy did receive some pretty aggressive treatment, both surgery as well as chemotherapy and possibly radiation, and was able to survive about 14 months after his diagnosis. I remember uh, when he was first diagnosed, and there was some controversy right away with uh, who his doctor was going to be and what were the procedures and what kind of uh, regimen of uh, a treatment was involved, but it is somewhat remarkable that he survived as long as he did. Well, you know, one of the most important things in terms of prognosis when someone is diagnosed with this type of brain tumor with a malignant glioma is the age of the patient and the general health at the time of diagnosis of the patient. And while Senator Kennedy was over 70 years of age when he was diagnosed, he generally was in a good state of health. And I think that what we saw when he went through his rigorous treatment is really, in a lot of ways, exemplified how, how strong he was and uh, what kind of battle he was able to wage against this particularly aggressive form of cancer. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much.